why Senna wouldn't beat Verstappen if he was a driver today. Formula One has seen the rise of many skilled racers, the likes of Michael Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, and many more. They have all revealed their extraordinary dedication to taking the win. With F1 being a very competitive sport, it's only natural that the racers devise their plans to win. An example is Senna's aggressive psychological warfare-inducing driving technique that Max Verstappen's style has been likened to. It only makes you wonder, who could actually if both drivers ever got to race against themselves? Before we begin, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. Senna and Max Verstappen share similarities when it comes to aggressive driving. All have noted their willingness to do anything to take the win, and Helmut Marko, advisor to the Red Bull Formula One team, passed commentary when he was asked who he could compare Verstappen to in a Q&A session back in 2014, which was uploaded to the official F1 website. He answered, most likely Ayrton Senna, and in such a case, you must not look at his age. He has been talking with experts when it comes to the development of youngsters, and they all say that in terms of his mind he is more like 22 than 16. And regarding his skills behind the steering wheel, he has been racing since he was four years old, professionally, so we expect him to be competitive from the first race. We are not playing the lottery, we know what we're doing, and success proves us right. Max Verstappen's current career position bears resemblance to Ayrton Senna's in his pre-McLaren days, and he was often delivering miraculous performances in his Lotus Renault. Apart from their crazy drive to win, comparisons have also been drawn to their intense rivalry with fellow drivers. Senna had an intense rivalry with Alain Prost back in 1985 and has been regarded as the most controversial of all since the first world championship in 1950. At the time, both drivers were considered some of the best to compete in the sport. Prost joined Nicky Lauda at McLaren in 1984 and won his first championship in 85 and his second the following year. Prost himself convinced McLaren's management to sign Senna from Team Lotus in 1998. It was at this point that the rivalry was said to have begun, with Senna narrowly winning the 1988 championship from Prost. The battle for supremacy between the teammates began in 1989, with allegations of preferential treatment and favoritism towards Senna, ultimately leading Prost to sign for Ferrari in 1990. This further culminated in an intense manufacturer rivalry between McLaren and Ferrari. Although Verstappen and Hamilton are not teammates, unlike the Senna and Prost rivalry, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen's are not rivals, but they don't seem to get along too well. What many believe began at Silverstone in the British Grand Prix, where Hamilton collided with Verstappen to stop him from getting an outside edge, infuriated the Red Bull team, who believed Hamilton should have received more punishment than a 10-second penalty. The collision between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton at the British Grand Prix bore opinions. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner was one of the most forthright in his views, claiming Hamilton had made a desperate and amateur move that led to a hollow victory after leaving Verstappen in hospital. Hamilton mentioned to the media that he'd avoided collisions with Verstappen one too many times and wasn't going to let him get away with it. There was no love loss between the pair after their first two wrecks, but it went to a whole other level at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Another incident between the two resulted in a unique plot. Verstappen ran Hamilton off the track and was quickly instructed by his crew to allow Hamilton to pass fearing they might be hit with a penalty. But instead of passing Verstappen, he crashed into the back of the car. Red Bull said they didn't know why Hamilton didn't just pass the car, and a post-race investigation found that Verstappen had slammed on his brakes just as Hamilton was approaching, although both drivers would still make the podium. According to British former race car driver David Coulthard on the F1 Nation podcast, 
he made mention of the rivalry between the two drivers. He says, This is a remarkable situation, a remarkable championship. And I wonder a bit like what we saw with Prost and Senna, who wouldn't even be in the same room as each other at a certain point, and then came together. If you remember, at Ayrton's last victory, he called Alan upon the podium in Adelaide, and they, as far as I understood it, ended up with so much racing respect, even though they didn't like each other at some point. This shows his thoughts about the rivalry between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, on how they could end up becoming friends just like Prost and Senna did before Senna's untimely death in 1994. Now, with all similarities between Senna and Verstappen, one cannot help but ponder the question, who would win a race between the two unique drivers? Would it be Verstappen or Senna? It's tough to make a concise notion since they are both different eras compared with Ayrton Senna's death after his crash at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix. However, it's almost certain that Max Verstappen would take the win. Jock Clear, Ferrari's senior performance engineer and driver coach, on an exclusive interview with Beyond the Grid podcast, shared his perspective on how the past world champions would fare, and he gave his answer. A question I get asked probably most often is, how would Senna fare nowadays? The fact is, Senna would fare just as well nowadays as he did back then, though not if he was as fit as he was then, because he simply wouldn't be able to cope with this level. But we would make himself as fit as he needs to be now, because in any sport you look at, all they were doing back then were the best they could, and the technology and the knowledge was such that they believed at the time that was the best thing they could be doing. The good drivers of those days would simply be doing the same regimes, or better, in Senna's case. He would have found something special, and he would be the guy that we were saying, not only is he the three or four time world championship, he is also the fittest guy out there. Since he works with drivers, his judgment can be trusted to grasp their psychology. An argument can also be made on Ayrton Senna's throttle technique that has seen him gaining seconds of advantage, which has given him the edge to win. This is the only difference between Senna and Verstappen, since Verstappen has revealed he doesn't have a particular driving technique to call his own. The only thing that makes the difference, however, is the cars, and the question if Senna's prize technique would work with modern F1 cars. Senna's throttle technique might work for cars of his era, but not in modern F1, where his throttle stabs would induce load transfers upsetting the finely tuned aerodynamics of the vehicle. Sudden load transfers not only degrade aerodynamic grip, but mechanical grip as well. Through this, he has lost his edge, although Senna goes beyond his driving style. However, would that be enough to overcome Verstappen? Do you think that Senna could win against Max Verstappen in a modern F1 showdown instead? Please leave your answers in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.